Hi, my name is Ross Ainsley and we are here at Teapot recording my second solo album. This album, I suppose it's quite different, a different experience anyway, from what I used to. This album I'm doing is called Remembering and I'd been writing songs for over the last year and a half or something, which basically they came from I stopped drinking two and a half years ago or something. I've kind of found myself I picked the band definitely with it with the songs in mind first. My name's Ali Hutton and I am playing the acoustic guitar for this. I've known Ross since I was 12 years old, since we were both 12 years old. We both met uh, in the pipe band. Um, we were actually both taught by Gordon. Gordon's the drummer on this project. We were taught by his dad in the Vale of Athol pipe band. So we've known each other and been best buddies since we were 12 years old. So. He has to ask me to do these projects. If he leaves me out, then there's some sort of friendship clause where they just wouldn't work out right. The working with all the guys, all these guys, we've all, we all kind of know each other from the Glasgow music scene. So we all have played in different forms of bands with each other over over the years. We all have a connection, and we've all done stuff together. We just this is probably the first time we've all played as a, a group together, so it's an amazing thing. Yeah, everyone kind of knows each other's music and knows what each other's like, their ups, their downs, and uh, so we're all, it's all, it's great. We're all getting on great and making some cool music, so. Uh, hi, my name's Hamish Napier and I play piano and sing with a band. So Ross Ainsley and Ali Hutton are kind of partners in crime and uh, both Persia lads and uh, did a gig with them New Year a number of years ago at the back of a lorry at minus 10 uh, with snow drifting onto my keyboard for £30 each and uh, it's always been great crack every project involved with those boys. Everybody in the band has worked together in uh, different projects in some shape or form. If not, we're all part of the big music scene down in Glasgow. And so it's great just to come out here and focus on, uh, you know, all of the new music of Ross's together. We're all involved in so many different projects together, and uh, everyone's different, and uh, just thoroughly enjoying it. It's great fun working in projects like this, where one person kind of is taking the lead, uh, and even though that's happening, still uh, Ross is letting us all chip in our, uh, our opinions and here, here and there, and that's that's great fun. It's like. Even though it's one person's project, it feels very much like a band. My name's Matthew Watson and I'm playing electric guitar this week. I suppose this is Ross and I's 10th anniversary. We met about 10 years ago um, in, at the Cayley Place in Alipool. And uh, I pestered him, I was 14, and I pestered him to come down and visit him. And I uh, frequently uh, ran away from school down to where he used to live, not too far away from here. And um, we've been really close friends ever since. And uh, so that's how I got to know Ross. And we've always worked, sometimes together, sometimes with other people. And this is the first time in 10 years where we've managed to both have enough time to get involved in something together. And I'm so pleased that it's this album. I think it's... Uh, it's a great record of music and I know that it's a, a big achievement for Ross and it's nice that everybody here knows that and I'm so pleased it's turned out so well. Working here with this group of musicians has been a real treat. We all uh, know each other, work together in different groups of people but um, 
Ross is uh, definitely a master blender and has uh, got a great cocktail here of people and people who when we work on music have got really complementary kind of priorities and sensitivities. Um, and also at the Teapot Studio here, having the opportunity to be able to track stuff live has been great. We also have a really important man with us called Andrea Gobi, who's made what, something that could be quite tricky and quite daunting really easy. And um, a lot of that's down to Ross putting all of this in place. And it's a kind of extension of what I said before. It's taken all of us quite a long time to find an, op an opportunity to work together. And to be able to have done it here during the best week of the year has been fantastic. I'm Andrea Gopi, engineer, recording engineer for this particular session. Well, generally, I would say that we all know each other well, you know, in terms of like a group of friends. So uh, even the rest of the musicians involved in this in this project are people that I've worked with on, on several other little things over the years. So the fact that it's quite a close unit and not only the, the kind of work side of it kind of flows well, but also, you know, outside work, you know, there's a lot of kind of fun and sort of crap going on which uh, which allows us to to sort of feel like a unit, you know, so from that point of view it's, it's been great for, for, for it all to, to work together like that and for me to be part of it. Um, I'd have to say from that point of view it's probably easier for somebody who is a friend, you know, to, to interpret what people are doing, and, you know. Uh, but also, for me, it's been amazing because the musicians themselves are all absolutely great. I mean, even if you listen to them on several other little things they do uh, are, you know, absolutely technically and musically amazing. So, um, so it's a great learning experience. Fairly intense if you think about the fact that there's nine of them playing together. That was the idea the project was meant to be. Uh, a live recording, that's what Ross really wanted, so uh, he wanted to have nine people playing live and capture that feeling. As soon as I kind of took this on, I was just with the gen, I wanted to do all this album live, this is the perfect place to do it. The thing is, it's with Teapot, it's, um, it's in the middle of nowhere. Rob's such a good guy, so generous, and he's, and I think he's enjoyed us having the company and I'm not looking forward to going back to the big city, to be honest. Hi, I'm Laura Basalta and I play mandolin and I sing. Uh, Ross and I have met through the Glasgow session scene. Um, I moved to Glasgow from Lincolnshire about eight years ago and uh, since then we've been playing in a lot of pub sessions and stuff and he, uh, he and I like playing tunes, the same as everybody here actually, just on a social basis but obviously Ross is a really accomplished musician and um, luckily for me, he asked me to be part of his New Voices Commission for Celtic Connections at the beginning of the year, and uh, that's where all the music from this project has come from. So I get to record it too, which is great. So there's a great group of people here just now. Uh, we're all based in Glasgow bar, Matthew Watson. Uh, so we know each other from like kind of social music side of things, but not all of us have worked together in this situation before. Obviously we've worked together to create the concert which this album is based on, Ross's New Voices, um, but we haven't been away for a few days like this and it's been br brilliant fun, really nice, great people, um, great musicianship, just I feel very privileged to be working with everybody that's here. One of these guys that just uh, you know you, you, he never stops uh, wanting to play music, and I think that's an incredible thing. Yeah, Ross's project has uh, brought together some great musicians and good friends of mine um, who I've all known, I guess um, you know over the last few years and different, and we've worked together in different guises. But this is a very specific thing that we're working on, and. Um, at the heart of it, I think they're just really good, fun, friendly, brilliant people to be around and that always helps um, when you're creating music. But also I think there's a, t a mutual respect between everybody um, for the you know what they have done but also their musical ability. And I think when we've been in playing Ross's music, you know, obviously the music's very strong in the first place, but you have great musical personalities playing the music and I think it's a kind of synergy that exists that you play off one another and hopefully that will translate to, to, to making a great record.
I'm James Lindsay and I play bass guitar on Ross Ainsley's Remembering album. It's been a great project so far. Ross asked me to come on board last year for his gig at Celtic Connections and that led on to this recording. Here we are at the, the Path of Condi uh, at the Teapot Studios and it's been a totally great few days here just enjoying the weather and enjoying playing music together. Uh, we've all been set up live in the studio so it's been just a case of playing the music and getting our vibe going. It's been really good fun. I've worked with Ross a couple of times in the past um, but this is the first time I've worked with him on a kind of brand new project and it's been great because he's such a great writer of melodies and to hear him take his melodic ideas and put it together with his lyrical ideas uh, has been a great thing to, to bear witness to and the, the music's just so good so it's been a real pleasure. It's a considerable size of band, um, I think there's about nine of us, and all great characters, diverse characters and diverse musicians. And we've all kind of worked together in various guises over the past few years. Um, but it's been quite interesting bringing us all together um, from our different backgrounds and our different, different projects and seeing how it all ties in together and it's just great. Hello, my name is Gordy Duncan and today I'm playing the drums. I've known Ross for a few years now. Um, earliest memories are probably like the pipe band, Vale Athol pipe band, and novice juveniles and uh, going up through that. And he spent a lot of time with my dad um, playing bagpipes and learning tunes and playing tunes in loads of different places and I've just kind of carried on keeping in touch with them and stuff after that. Ross asked me to be part of this uh, project remembering for Celtic Connections, there was a concert he was putting on for that, a commission. So he asked me to come and do drums and sing as well, um, which I hadn't actually done before live, playing live. So that was a total challenge for me to like to do it, and I think he because I write songs as well. It was probably quite handy to get other songwriters involved as well. My name is Laura Wilkie, and I play the fiddle. It's been lovely recording at Keep Up because you're away from civilization, and uh, you can kind of immerse yourself in the in the music that you're recording. It's just, it's been beautiful weather and it's beautiful scenery and countryside. That's inspiring and um, relaxing. And it means that you kind of just get really into what you're doing. I've known Ross for about four or five years. I got to know him properly when I was stepping in a band that he plays in called Sasa Celtica. And then we just kept playing music even after the tour was over, we just kept playing. And he wrote a bunch of music and asked if I wanted to play it, I guess. Because we kind of been playing it all the time anyway, so that's how I, that's why I'm here. The music's really fun to play. Some of it's really beautiful, some of it's rocking, and like someone coined the term thrash grass. I quite like it. The people on this project are all wholly invested in it and all get it. They, they get the concept of it. It's all really honest music that's been written and, and the parts that people have played and interpreted in their own way is all very honest and it, I think that's why it feels really good to play. I'm not really a leader in groups and there's a lot of people in the group that are kind of leaders so I normally take a step back in these kind of things but with the guys it's, they don't, it doesn't need much direction everyone's here and everyone knows what has to be done young I probably had no idea that I could have it as a career so it's kind of nicely turned out that way and it's an amazing experience I mean even you know there's no better job in the world 
it's no nine to five, there's no restrictions. You get to do what you want. You do huge gigs, small gigs, record in the studio. It's always a different experience. You get to travel the world, meet amazing people, have musical connections all over the place with you know people you never dream of meeting and just an amazing time. There's such a community of people, especially that we know in, in Scotland and Glasgow. I, I absolutely love Scottish folk music. I've had a shot of playing other genres and still enjoy playing rock music, and blues music, and jazz and stuff like that, but I just am always drawn to folk music. You know, the, There's a lot of people that say that uh, folk music is strongly connected with alcoholism, but um, I'm not totally convinced that that's the main reason why I play folk music. The best thing about music is the people. You can't separate the, the music from the people and every person has their own characteristics and, and way of playing. We're not robots, we're not always consistent and that often means that people come out with amazing stuff every once in a while and uh, that really surprises you even though you've been playing with them absolutely loads. And uh, that's what I love about music, it's always full of surprises. I started playing music oh, no, I think, when I was nine and I've played uh, a lot of different instruments over the years and I've taken to playing the guitar most of the time and it's a great privilege to have managed to carve out an existence this far doing so because I couldn't really do anything else. I got into music through my parents. Um, they used to run a local session um, in Wholesome in Lincolnshire where I'm from and they play um, bluegrass music and old-timey American music and a little bit of blues. When I was young I think the thing about traditional music is it's a very social music and I think the big word is spirit, you know, there's a spirit to the music, it's really incredible um, and it, it translates across all generations from old people to young people and I think, you know, people just, they love playing it. The standard of music in Scotland is, is evolving at such a fast rate. More and more young people are getting involved. So it's a really exciting place to be. I think Scotland's an incredibly, you know, it's, well, it's an amazing country with a huge amount of potential. And I think the Scottish music scene's a huge part of that. It's been kind of cool to bring the different elements of that into this project. So we've got the acoustic element, but also a bit more of pop and rock influence there too. So that's been exciting for me because my own taste in music is pretty wide ranging. I love it all and it's great to get to experiment with lots of different stuff. I can play the guitar and the drums and the bass, kind of semi alright, but the drums is definitely my favourite to play. It's, uh, it's really expressive and you can kind of hide at the back as well and just do your thing. You're not so as exposed as if you were at the front singing or something. So you can kind of, you can kind of, I don't know, it's be quite free. <laughs> don't know, just love it, eh? <laughs> I like playing because I'm myself when I'm playing. I can't hide. I like playing music because I like connecting with other musicians or or other people in a non-verbal, non-physical way. Just the just the the energy is good. <clears throat> it's honest. One jobs I would have been doing before I was fourteen, and thought I was a man. I left school and yoked the buckle playstairs and sang the bloody songs to her and blue. Then there was a dry spell called war. Then back to the land to reap and sow. Romance blossomed, marriage and a family the finest followed. Plenty of ups and doings along the way, joys and sorrows too. But I tuckled life in all its glory, but job in a war with pride and heed held high. It's great, this piece has a big theme and it's all about a kind of big change that's taking place in Ross's life. He's not touched a drop of alcohol for a couple of years and uh, it's all about looking forward and not looking back and no regrets and moving forward. I think that's brilliant, it's really reflected in the music and it's great to be part of it. In the last couple of years there's been a big change because playing music when you're drinking and playing music when you're sober is a completely different uh, ballgame. 
when you're not drinking it's, it's a different zone to be in because you find yourself with a lot more free time on your hands and you've got to fill that and it can be quite a can be quite a weird lonely time. Music's the kind of thing that kind of sa saves you in a way. Especially writing and I, 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 that's my favourite thing with music is is writing and be and, and actually working on music on my own is is my favourite I think. You're just writing about what you're what you're feeling and I think it makes it this quite makes makes you feel better. Yeah, it gets stuff out, I suppose. It's been a great couple of days. It's, a, it's an amazing team of people. Having a space like Teapot it makes it possible to get into that kind of zone. And the weather's been actually pretty amazing as well. The weather, it's just all like, it's all, like, it all came together a bit, like, perfectly this week. With work and having fun and great vibe. I think that's the, the that's the, the finisher. It's like, it's been a great vibe. I could perform the thousand and one jobs I put a firm doing before I was fourteen and thought I was a bond. I left school and yoked at the Muggle Clydesdales and sang the posy songs to her and blue. Then there was a dryer spell called war. Then back to the land to reap and sow. Romance blossomed, marriage, and a family of the finest followed. Plenty of ups and downs along the way. Joys and sorrows too. But a duckled life in all its glory, but Jav in a war, with pride and heed held.